What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shamarty John, Big Ninja, back again with another review video, but this time it's gonna be a little different. So, for all my dudes out there that have a patch of beard, you know what I'm saying? I have one too. Kind of see right in there, right in here, and the worst of it all, right in here. Like, if I want to bring my beard to about right there, I can't even do that because there's a patch here. I have been derma rolling for about two months now. I was taking, like, transformation photos, like, five seconds a day or whatever when I just do this to do this. But then I just kind of gave up on it. This is my better side, my right side of my face. As you see, this side is pretty much them filled in. It's just these little hairs that's right here have to catch up. It's this side that I'm struggling on. So on Sundays and Thursdays are my wash days, and those are the days that I don't roll on. So I needed something to keep my beard moisturized because I just can't keep derma rolling and then put in like, I'll take these, these vitamin E capsules. And what I'll do is I'll cut it and I'll take the gel that's inside the capsule and I'll just rub it on my skin and also over my hair. And that's, that's not enough. So this guy called Evan Alexander, I'm pretty sure if you've ever specifically typed in at least for me, black guy, patchy beard, or just patchy beard. You've seen Evan Alexander. He's a black guy with a thick beard. I'm talking about like, you can't even see his upper lip like that. You can barely see his bottom lip. That's how thick his beard is. He's been popping up all over my news feed along with him, the beard club and something else. But I decided to go with his. I bought his beard grooming kit a few, uh, few days ago and arrived yesterday. So he has a video up on his beard grooming kit and he has a day, night, and then a wash day routine. I'll be doing that wash day routine since he advises, I believe to wash at least twice a week. So I'm gonna keep, keep my day Sunday and Thursday, but today I'm just gonna do the morning routine. So this will be like a monthly update to show you how my beard looks. So right now, as y'all can see, this is this is what my beard looks like. This is first thing in the morning. I'm about to take a shower, or whatever, cause to put the uh, the leave-in the beard leave-in conditioner in, my beard has to be damp. So I'm gonna show y'all again what it looks like. As you see, pretty patchy. Yeah. But before I get into that, I'm gonna go over the kit with y'all. So you got the my hydration which is the beard leave-in conditioner. So this is what we're gonna be using today. You got the beard balm. I have the choice of putting this on after I put the leave-in conditioner on, either this or the my serum, which is the beard oil. You got the my wash. It says moisturizing charcoal beard, uh, beard wash. Not using that to this Thursday. And then, voila, we got the My Growth Gummies. It's actually pretty good. I took one yesterday. So, that's everything. And, uh, oh, also one more thing. It came with a cone. Wooden cone. I probably won't be using this because my beard is nowhere long enough for that. I barely even have one in my opinion. But, yeah. So, the first step on... The my hydration, I'm gonna read it to y'all so y'all can hear it. It says, work thoroughly into a slightly damp beard, leaving your beard, do not rinse out. For the best result, apply Evan Alexander Balm or Beard Serum, which is either of these two. And that was instructed in his, uh, his beard grooming kit video which was listed in the descriptions. Y'all folks got to start reading the description. I was going through some of the comments and even in the video, he said he will put everything in the description. What do people do? First thing they do is comment asking, hey, what's the routine? <laughs> Y'all got to make read the fundamental. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower, get myself freshened up or whatever, and now make my beard damp. And then we're going to put that in there and we're going to see how it looks again. Here's the left. Here's the right. 
All right, y'all. Just freshen up. Took a good shower. Beard is nice and damp. So now, just as the instruction said, I'm gonna take this my hydration, the beard leave-in condition. Look at it one more time. Work thoroughly into a slightly damp beard. Okay. Taking it off of this because it's a it was enough on this little piece of plastic. That's how you stretch out your resources. Gotta work it thoroughly. Work it thoroughly. Get all in there, massage it in, circle of motion. Get some of that blood circulating. Where them hair follicles are at. Evan, Evan Alexander, I hope this helped my stuff grow. A lot of folks, they have all these products and they can just generally have good beard genetics. You won't know that though. They could just say they had a patchy beard before. You really ever see anyone that posts the awkward stages of their beard. You might see a thumbnail as clickbait and a full beard and that's about it. No one ever posted their awkward stage. So it just makes it so hard to believe if a product's worth getting. So I'm taking a chance on you, man. I need to go back and look. I need to go back and do my own personal research. A friend said he was gonna try it out. So I decided to try it out with him. So that's why I got this kit. But I gotta go back and do my own personal research to check out your older, older videos and stuff. All right, that's thoroughly worked in. I'm gonna go with the beard oil. Instructions apply two to three drops of beard serum into the palm of your hands, massage evenly into your beard and skin, style with a brush, comb, or pick. Got a lot of natural oils in here. Now we're gonna take the beard oil, AKA the my serum. Say two to three drops. To go with two, I ain't got that much hair. It's nice and warm. All right, now we're gonna brush it. Okay, I can see that it's helping the hair to, to straighten more. So the patches aren't that noticeable. The patches are still there, but the hairs that are around the patches are starting to straighten out more. So I'll probably screenshot this and then screenshot when I was showing it earlier and I'll probably use that as my thumbnail. So I kind of brush diagonally. It's like down, but at an angle. As you see, this side is beautiful, man. If this side, if this side over here was like this side, I could take it and bring it to about right there. But nah, when I have a stupid patch right in here and here, it's just like double whammy.
and I refuse to get spray. I feel like that's the worst way to go out is get some spray enhancements. The moment you sweat or take a shower, that's gone. All right. So that's what I'll pretty much be doing every morning and then every night. Only difference I believe between the day and night routine is that I believe in the, the night routine, I believe it specifically said to use the serum according to the, the description I believe that he put in his video on his beard grooming kit. And then in the morning, you have the options to choose between either the my bomb or the beer oil. And then these are the gummies. I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I'm gonna pop one of the gummies. I always take vitamins on the uh on the stomach with food. I don't ever take vitamins on an empty stomach regardless of their gummies or not. And I believe this says this is for a 2,000, for a 2,000 calorie diet. But yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe below. I'll be doing like, I'll probably check in with this um, a month from now. So what today is? Today is what, the 13th? Yeah, today is December 13th. So January 13th, I'll probably check in again with this video to show y'all some progress to, to, to see if, you know, the patches are filled in or whatever, whatnot. I am going to the barber on the December 24th and where you see these patches and stuff at right there or whatever, depending on how long my hair get, I will have him just trim it a little bit around the patches. So if there are if there is any hair that are, that are growing in these patches, I know I have a little bit of hair that's growing right in there. I'll just have him trim around it. But yeah, Big Ninja out. And if you have any tips for me as far as what helped you out if you had a patchy beard, please drop in the comment section below. Help a brother out, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if I had a full beard, you better tell me nuts. Peace.